Guten Tag, we're back. Hello, greetings. We're doing the cosmic forecast for June 25th through July 1st. I got it right this time. Cannot believe that it's going to be July 1st. What I know, hell? it's gone by um, so fast. And I know, we we're just talking about this for the call, but does anyone else feel like the years are short, but the days are long? My dad used to always say that to me growing up and I was like, what? And now I totally get it. Um, Okay, cool. Let's break down the numerology and people, it's a big week. <laughs> it's a week eight. FYI, eight is the only number that has to do with the uh, material world, right? So eight is actually the number of abundance and money, Ooh, money, honey. Money. I'm ready. I'm ready yeah, for so, it. <laughs> so, so this week is um, going to be a week that's centered around money and finances and getting your finances in order. There might be some money making ideas that come to you. There might be um, unexpected bills. Again, you have to remember that there's a light and shadow side to everything. So a lot of people get excited when they hear eight because they're like, I'm going to be rich. Woo, money. But depending on where you're at with your finances and your alignment, your career, whatever, like you might actually be facing some of that shadow, right? So I always say to kind of relieve yourself of that shadow mm -hmm. to kind of take some um, proactive steps to having healthy, a healthy relationship with money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe like start reading a book on finances, check your, um, your money and maybe make a budget. Like you can read a finance book. I really like Ramit Sethi's uh, I will teach you to be rich. I think is the name of it. That's a great book. Ooh, um, I'm gonna have to pick yeah, that one up. You know, finance, finance podcast, anything like that, just to make sure you're like, cool. I'm feeling really good about money. But the other aspect of the eight, other than money, is that it's also the number of power, right? So it's the number of power and achievement. So it's a really good week to set goals mm -hmm. and to reflect on how do you actually feel empowered, like. Are you empowering yourself? Are you in relationships that empower you? Do you feel empowered in your work life? Um, and there may even be some things coming up around feeling disempowered. Mm. You might realize like, oh, wait, this relationship I'm in actually makes me feel kind of disempowered. And of course, no one can really make you feel anything without your consent, right? So going within and saying, mm. hey, what, a, what aspects of me are allowing myself to feel disempowered right now, right? There may yeah. be a situation this week where you have to face power in a, in a real way, right? Like you might get in a fight with someone and then you're kind of like, what are the power dynamics here? Mm -hmm. So again, it's, it's a really good week to cultivate a strong sense of self-worth and confidence and to also focus on practicality and decision-making and setting goals. And, um, you know, really Think about also what you want to manifest because again, eight is the material realm. So what would you like to manifest in your material world right now? And it doesn't have to be just like, you know, possessions just in general, like what is a manifestation you're drawing near to you? So that's kind of the eight in a nutshell. I hope that yeah. makes sense. I feel like I just rapid fired through things I at also, you. You know, I also was thinking like with the eight, cause I think of eight as like, also, what are you? investing in is like kind of a, a thing that kind of what's what coming because money is an energy that has to flow and it needs places to go and so oftentimes we get really nervous and scared of putting money and energy into certain areas in our life so I always try to tell my friends my clients like hey it's not like you ought to spend money to make money and it's okay if that money yeah if it leaves you like don't be worried. And I always like to say with eight energy, it's like everything I invest in comes back to me a hundredfold. That's kind of what I tell myself with eight energy. Um, and you were also talking about like, cause I was like, oh yeah, it's eight. I'm excited. And you're like, whoa, girl, be careful about the burn. Like the burnout is real. So that's something that I was also thinking about too, when you're talking about eight energy. Um, so I just wanted to add that in because yeah. I was like, thinking about that. And I was like, oh, okay, money, money, money. But it could be, yes, money coming in, but also money having to leave in a, a new way of an investment in yourself. So also wanted to add that note 
in there. Um, yeah. the, Thank you. Uh, I love uh, that. It's funny because we were talking about that before. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I forgot to bring that in. There's a lot to say about all these numbers, people, a lot, <laughs> but I try and give everyone like, the, the bullet point, like quickie. Yeah. So interesting with the astrology lining up uh, for the week. So we have a, a few, um, a few transits coming that are positive and a little bit also inert. So we start the week off actually with two squares. So actually today, June 25th, we're recording and it's Mercury square Neptune, which in my opinion is the energy that's all that can also that can create kind of communication challenges like or disconnects with communication um tomorrow we have which is june 26 we have mars square uranus which is actually in my book like a little bit of that agitating um because mm. mars is a really powerful forceful energy and when it's square uranus squares as we talked about are all about tension it's growth, but challenging growth. And Uranus is all about evolving. And so it's like leveling up. And I actually think coupled with the eight energy, it's like, how are you leveling up in a power way, power, powerful way? How are you leveling up in a money way is almost more of the contextual, um, contextual evidence around some of the aspects with the eight energy is what I see Mars square Uranus. Right after that, we have Sun trying Saturn the following day on June 27th. And the Sun, so that's a really positive aspect. So it's almost kind of like starting off the week, we have some evaluation, we have some agitating energy, we have some like prompting energy with, um, you know, Mars and Mercury in these squares. And then starting June 27th, it's more about then like understanding and realizing how the ego, but also how the responsibilities and like how that's culminating into becoming more responsible and really a true power player and staying grounded. And so that energy, the sun trying Saturn, I think is really a great energy to bring in with the eight because eight is really all about power. And like, how do you really come from a place of powering yourself? Um, so that's actually what I see for June 27th. And then towards the end of the week, June 29th, June 30th, we have the sun conjunct Mercury, which is, in my opinion, a really positive aspect of- That is good. Yay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so the sun, like I said, represents our ego, our identity. Conjunctions are when it's next to, and then Mercury is the plan of communication and it's logistics. Mercury is strategy. Mercury is intellect. And so when we have the sun- conjunct mercury it's a really positive aspect for having like great ideas flow through being really clear on like who am i what do i want what am i here for which coupled with the eight power energy and the eight money energy is great and being clear on like okay you've kind of worked through some of the stuff that you've been prompted with in the beginning now you're really like alchemizing like the responsibility and the discipline that you need in order to move through, you know, the week, the year in a coming from a power place and getting your, your shit together. And then the sun conjunct Mercury is being really, just really clear on the thoughts, the ideas, the logistics, the strategy, and like how you're really going to put that plan forward. So that's kind of how I actually see the, the arch of what's happening for the week in coupled with this eight energy. Yeah. I think it's interesting that we start off with this square with Neptune, mm -hmm. which Neptune just is so confusing. It yeah. always kind of blurs lines. Yeah. And then at the end of the week, there is that like eureka moment, that clarity moment with mm -hmm. the sun and Mercury. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like this week might be one of those where you're kind of sifting through the weeds and you're like, mm -hmm. what is it that I'm really doing? Oh, okay, cool. Which does again, like, like we were talking about pairs well with the, the week being an eight energy because eight is about power. And like when we have clarity and we know where we're going and what we want and we have the vision, that's when you're the most empowered. That's when you really can manifest whatever it is you want in your life. So I yeah. think that's a, a beautiful thing. I'm excited to see how this week unfolds. Mm -hmm. I don't, hopefully it won't be as heavy as the past 
few weeks. Um, definitely not as intense as two weeks ago. That was, that was gnarly. Um, yeah. So do you have any last minute tips or remarks? Um, I mean, I actually think that it's just, it's interesting because for me personally, I actually do my finances, uh, right at like the beginning, the first first of every month or at least within the first three days and so it's kind of interesting that it's an eight and it lines with that I think that for everybody it's a great place to start being proactive about empowering yourself from this financial place and like the astrology really supports kind of getting down into the weeds even if it's uncomfortable because like let's be real some of these squares in the beginning it's uncomfortable it's not a fun energy to be in but then at the end, having a really good game plan and feeling really empowered to take control of your finances. And that's kind of how I always feel, to be honest, when I personally do my own finances is like going through the budgets, going through what did I spend evaluating? It's like a little bit overwhelming, like that Neptune energy can be. So I would say like, you know, that was kind of my personal tip that I even just thinking about for myself, what I'm going to be doing, um, you know, because we end the week with July 1st, which is a whole numerology year cycle. I mean, sorry, month cycle. So that's what I would suggest. Um, how about yourself? What would you share with our audience? I mean, I feel like everything that I shared around the eight is like really mm -hmm. what I would focus on, just like focus on good money habits, focus on what you really want in your life, having that vision and focus on, um, again, like what, what are your goals? Like, how can you get clear on them? Like yeah. when you feel the most empowered and go do that thing. Like yeah. if you feel the most empowered when you're dancing or like lifting weights in the gym, go do that. Mm -hmm. Like if you have yeah. the most clarity when you're sitting in the forest, go sit in the forest, right? Mm -hmm. Like again, you got to like, kind of bring, like do the things that are going to bring you clarity and grounding so that you can then call in the, the physical manifestations that you want, which is like, what is so beautiful about the eight energy and so potent, yeah. um, with the eight energy yeah. and yeah, I guess that would be it. So yeah. thank you for everyone who tuned in. Let us know how your week's going in the comments below and we'll be back next week. Yeah. Bye everyone.